Hey guys, this is Zach King, and I'm going to be your trainer for this color series, an introduction, an overview to color to get you comfortable working in this system. Now, if you're intimidated by looking at the screen right now and, and seeing all these buttons and different tabs and these color circles and wheels and these scopes, then don't worry. Just take a deep breath and calm down because we're going to be going through each part of the color here and just getting you comfortable with seeing these screens and knowing what you're doing. You remember the first time you went in Final Cut or the first time you went in Soundtrack Pro, you know, it was tough. But as you go through training and, and you just practice, you'll get comfortable with it and, and be less intimidated and then be more creative. So over here on the left, you have just a, a preview, you know, like in Final Cut, it's like your canvas. You're looking at your preview of your shot. Now down below it, you have a bunch of scopes. Then our timeline here in the bottom, you can see it's kind of like our timeline in Final Cut, except for it focuses in and out points on one shot. You're going to see when you select something, you only can work with one shot at a time. Now we have eight tabs at the top in color. And what you do is you basically work from left to right. You start with your setup. You're always going to be using this tab once in a while to go to your preferences down here. Right now my auto saves is on five minutes. I'm going to change that to every three minutes. And you have just a lot of different directories you can set for where things are saving, rendering, or where do you want your default projects to save. And we have a couple other preferences, but if you mess them up right now and you don't remember where they were, just hit the reset preferences, and that'll make sure you're safe and starting where I'm starting right now. So this is your setup where you do some preferences. You have your shots list here in this lower tab. And for me, I'm not a list guy, so I'm going to put it on icons so I can see these thumbnails. Now, in your timeline, hit Shift-Z, and you're going to be able to see the entire project. A lot of the key commands you're going to notice are the same from Final Cut to Color. So to change the icons a little larger, what we can do is grab these lines and pull down, and the icons get larger, or we can push them up and then get really small. This is going to depend on if you're trying to navigate through a large project or a small project. The first tab we have up here in the top is our primary in. This is where we do our beginning introduction color to the shot. Secondaries, you're going to start doing some local colorization. Your color effects, you're going to have a list of colors out here. So we're going to drag, oh, I want this for this shot. Um, let's go with a blur and whatever. So you're going to have all these different shots. And again, you're previewing them here on the left. On the primary out, talk about that a little later. Geometry, where you can create custom shapes for color and doing different colorization effects, but kind of masking out objects and adding more color to that or taking away color. The still store, I love this tab because you can preview different frames. So you can compare, oh, do I like this color on this frame or this color? What works better for the scene? So you do your comparison here, and then your final tab is your render queue, where you finish up and you send to Final Cut Pro. So there's a quick overview. I hope you feel a little more comfortable, and we'll go in detail on all of these tabs a little bit more as we go throughout the training.